Oh no, someone broke into my house and stole my setup and or packed it neatly into boxes and then left it here. That's so weird, why would they do that? What a not smooth criminal. <laughs> hey guys, and welcome back to A Queen, ja Queen. My name is Chad Chad. Not really. And I moved, then I got super sick, but then I felt better and everything was great. Just kidding, I got sick again and it was worse than before. But I'm actually really happy about it because it gave me time to explore the magical, literally magical side of TikTok known as fairy talk. <laughs> Not the kind of fairy that gets stuck in the Suez Canal, but the type of fairy that dies if you ever say you don't believe in them. Kind of a little dramatic, honestly. You don't ever see any other mythical creatures doing that. Oh my God, is that Bigfoot? <laughs> No, it can't be. I don't believe in Bigfoot. <clears throat> What's happening? That's really mean. Like, I don't know why you have to say that. So I guess I'll just die. Oh, I'm sorry. And my feet aren't even that big. I'm a tall mm -hmm, guy. Okay. Proportionately, they make sense. You're right. Fairy talk seems to have started out with your regular stuff, like people pretending to find a real fairy. I just caught a fairy. A fairy, fairy landed on me. Fairies are real? Heck yeah, they are. And I don't know why the egg is here. Either fairies can lay massive eggs, four times their size, or this is the fairy. This is actually an egg fairy. They're like tooth fairies, but if you put an egg under your pillow, you don't get money, you get salmonella. Egg fairies aren't as fun. So a fairy. I didn't know that. While I was collecting eggs, a fairy landed on me. It's in my hand. And as far as scientific discoveries go, I don't think you can get away with concealing about 80% of said discovery. <laughs> my name is Benjamin Franklin, and look, I just found electricity. Wow, that sounds exciting, uh, but you made me wear this, so I, I can't really see it. And I found your dad. Hi, son. What? He's been gone for years. And I found my dad. Mm. You sure are founding fathers. But discovering fairies? <laughs> Lame. Who wants to do that when you could be discovering today's sponsor? This video is sponsored by Scentbird. I love Scentbird because it's like Christmas, but every month and with scents. It's Christmas. Scentbird is a monthly subscription service that lets you try out new fragrances for a fraction of the money you would spend on a full bottle. It's also a great option if you aren't really sure what type of scents you like. You can take a quick quiz on Scentbird's website and based on your answers, they'll help you find the perfect fit for you. You can pick your fragrances every month from a huge selection, including brands like Prada and Gucci with perfumes, colognes, and a lot of unisex options as well. This month I got Midnight Silhouette by Christian Soriano and Bite Me by Confessions of a Rebel. This one is a citrusy, zesty scent with pomelo and red salt. It kind of reminds me of a beach day. It just smells fun and summery. Then this one is more sweet and full of florals with vanilla orchid and jasmine. This one smells like you're taking a fancy bath in a fancy clawfoot tub that you can afford because you saved so much money using Scentbird. If you want to check them out, just click the link in my description and be sure to use code CHAD3 for 55% off your first month at Scentbird. Bird. Thank you to Simpbird for sponsoring today and let's get back to the video. People quickly went from finding real fairies to wanting to be real fairies. And what are fairies known for other than sprinkling unidentified powders onto kids that make them high or from the ground so that they can do meth. Fairies are known for flying. So if you want to be a fairy, you have to learn how to fly, which is obviously difficult to do if you don't have a Red Bull. So when you first start out, your feet are only going to dangle a couple inches off of the ground, but that still counts. A couple inches still counts. Don't worry. It actually takes two years to learn how to fly any higher than a few inches. And that's a long time to learn how to do something that Kylie Jenner does every day for like three minutes at the small cost of $70 million in the future of our children. But I guess some people got a head start on their fly training because some of them can fly over entire forests or neighborhoods. <laughs> very impressive and borders on having to check in with air traffic control. Runway 7, you are clear for takeoff. Copy that. Wait, hold on. There's a ferry crossing the road. The guy opens this door and gets shot and you think that of me? No, I am the one who not. Okay, you're good. The world building doesn't just stop at flying though because some fairies can also have superpowers. Oh. 
If you grow poison ivy in your hand, do you get poison ivy or can you go around shaking hands at a pro-life rally? And no, it's not bioterrorism. When you agree to shake someone's hand, you agree to the consequences. Just don't shake hands until you get married. Whore. I've never been chased by a fairy hunter, but this seems like one of the times you would most remember you have superpowers. We're losing altitude. This plane is going down. Oh no, I can't think of anything at all that would help us right now. If only one of us had the power of teleportation and could zap us safely to the ground or something. Yep, that would be pretty helpful right now. <laughs> oh, I just remembered I can... There aren't just fairy accounts or accounts teaching you how to become a fairy. There are also accounts that belong to the actual fairy hunters. Let's make a fairy trap. Dragon snot. Poison. Shark blood. Sugar. Let's leave it out and come back tonight. There are hunter accounts and they just trap and end fairies. What, you thought you could become a fairy and wear pretty outfits and live in peace? How about I hunt down you and your entire family? Once again, a lot of these are kids, so I just wanna make it clear that there is literally nothing wrong with this and they're just having fun. They're building a fantasy world community on TikTok along with collaborative storylines. And when you were a kid, you were making out with your hands. You were, not me. So that's really embarrassing for you, just you. Luckily, some fairies have healing powers or you can just make your own healing potion. But do you know who else knows how to make potions? The evil fairy hunters. Fairies. Attention. When you are flying and see anything looking like this, don't drink it. It's fairy poison that fairy hunters made to trap us. This is good advice. I would just like to add that we shouldn't drink any strange liquids that we find in the woods. I'm also kind of questioning the hunter's skill in hunting if their plan was just to leave a teacup of poison around and hope someone drinks it. Here you go, Snow White. Oh, thank you. Just a totally normal apple with no poison in it. Okay, I trust you. And here is a teacup of poison. It has poison in it and it's labeled poison. You know, I think it would be kind of dumb for me to drink that tea without thanking you first. Oh, <laughs> please. <laughs> the fairy hunters never really make their motivations clear. Some of them seem to be hunting out of pure malice, and then the other ones are collecting the loot that fairies drop when they die. I kill her. I took her heart. Here is her fairy necklace, three crystals, her ring, and the most valuable coin. I found crystals and a ring, possibly left by a fairy. And there are the different types of fairies. So the water fairies can control water. Earth fairies can grow plants. Egg fairies can make a mean frittata. And they all drop something different depending on what type they are, but there's almost always a stone and the hunters keep and collect these stones like baseball cards with more murder and less baseball. I found out my sister was a fairy, so I killed her. She was sleeping, so I was quiet. I took a knife. She was a rare earth fairy. I do feel like there are other ways to collect stones, maybe, that involve less bloodshed. There's all those nice people on TikTok Lives that scoop up bucketfuls of stones out of rice for only $39.99, and that is kind of expensive, and shipping does take 30 plus days, and I might be Team Hunter now. The fairies finally have had enough, okay? The fairy hunters are being dicks. They're teaming up on them for seemingly no reason. I still don't really have a definitive answer on that. So it was time to go to war. There's a fairy draft, there's war uniforms. A date is decided upon May the 13th during which the war will commence and, and, and go out on war. I guess it was mutually agreed on, which was very accommodating on both their parts. What about July? No, that's not soon enough. May the 12th? Can't, I have a chiropractor appointment. Pull the wing. Okay, what about May the 13th? That sounds great, I'll see you then. Okay, kill you later. What was that? Oh, sorry, I said I'm gonna kill you later. So I was walking around until I found a fairy. I had to collect her crystal and her ring. Then I had to clean the evidence. It may seem like fairies would have the upper hand because they have a bunch of supernatural powers. Instead of just beating their enemies black and blue, they keep arguing on if they should make them black and blue, or pink, or blue, or make them pink, or make them blue, or pink. Stop it! Then I had to clean the evidence. Fairy hunters may be kind of mean, but you can't say they're not tidy. We love environmentally conscious killers. Mr. Bundy, do you recycle? God, of course I do. I'm not a monster. Get back! In the trunk. Get okay, back in Ted Sorry. Bundy's trunk. Get in Sorry. there. Get back in the trunk. Yeah. Sorry. Everything turned out okay because the fairies did okay. win. Probably because they had an actual cause, unlike the fairy hunters. What, what do we, we want? want? We gotta kill fairies. Yeah. Yeah. Why do we want it? Because, because I, I, they, 
I don't want we just got okay. it. Okay. I mean, right. No, I never mind. All right. Like when do we want it? May the 13th. But I am Team Fairy Hunter now. $39.99 is way too expensive for one scoop. I Wait, the stone fell out of my ring. Oh man. Guess I gotta go kill someone now. My name is Tinkle Bell. I am a piss fairy. There are four types of fairies. There's earth, water, fire, and piss. And that's what I am. My fairy superpower is stream control. Like I've never peed on anyone on accident. <laughs> Stones. I'm gonna call it there guys. Thank you for subscribing and if you are still here, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you clicking on my oh. video out of all the videos that are on here and I'll see you next time. And also if you wanna check out Scentbird and use the link in my description, just be sure to use code CHAD3 for 55% off your first month. Okay, bye.